This is a walkthrough video of Gulf and Bay Bayside Unit 1366. These are townhomes, and on this side of the Gulf and Bay Club, it's completely different than the beach side. Uh, there is a day dock over here. We are on the Intercoastal Waterway. This is a nice unit because over 1,800 square feet with a garage. Um, the unit is really nice. It's well situated here in the complex. Um, and it's big, it's got three bedrooms. It's um, nice and maze right across the street, uh, right across from the pool. And you can use the facilities there at Gulf and Bay Club, of course, because it's, it's part of it. So you have beach access right across Midnight Pass. Uh, the nice thing about this side of Gulf and Bay Club is the fact that it ha allows for weekly rentals. So the rental return on this thing is really good. In fact, they had $65,000 in gross rental income for last year, and they have it booked again for next year. The fees in here are about seven, over $700 bucks or $9,000 a year is the HOA fees, but that covers all your insurance and your water and your trash and the maintenance. The floor plan is really nice. It has nice updates in here with granite countertops, stainless appliances, Nice vent hood, has washer and dryer in unit. Little breakfast nook here. This unit does come furnished as with everything that we see here. But I do like the layout because it does have a nice, um, nice open floor plan to the living area here and the dining area. And everything has a big water view. So it's pretty well designed. Basically there, there's two bedrooms on this floor and then the master bedroom is upstairs. So I'll start down here with the guest bathroom right here, which is nice, same granite as in the kitchen. Um, tile goes all the way up to the ceiling for the tub shower arrangement. Pretty spacious, nice paint. Um, got the air handler in here. This is guest bedroom number one. This has uh, two twin beds and a walk-in closet. Nothing too exciting here. Different tile than in the main area. Bedroom number two is a little bit bigger. This is a full-size bed, and this also has a walk-in closet, which is very big. So there's lots of storage in here. And with over 1,800 square feet, there is, it, it does feel rather spacious. The master bedroom is nicely situated up these stairs, so it is separated from the rest, and it does have a nice landing here so we can make the turn. This does take up a fair amount of square footage in the house, but it, it's still well designed, and so it, and it really separates the upstairs from, from the rest of the complex. It's kind of neat how it has this glass block here, which lets some light in, but still gives a lot of privacy at the top of the stairs. They are doing some work. The condo association is replacing some of the railing uh, at the moment, so please excuse, excuse this, but I do want to remark on the view. The view is fabulous from up here. This is a large room, and the bathroom's really large too, so there's just a ton of square footage. And the mirrors make it seem even bigger. I like the granite. It's, it's a lot of bathroom. This bathroom's very nice and has been updated with real nice tile. I like the glass. I like the glass in the shower. It's a big shower. You and four of your closest friends can shower together in there. And then it has a huge walk-in closet. I guess this would qualify as huge. I suppose this could almost be a bedroom in Europe. So that's it. The price is right at $840. Um, that works out to be about $460 per square foot. But waterfront views, great rental uh, history and great rental potential. And having that week, one week minimum is really key. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. Thanks for watching.